today's video is going to be a review on the Bondi Sands Tanning Mousse. And in this video, I'm going to be covering how I actually use this product and also what I think about it in terms of whether it's worth the money and how well it works. So just as a little background about Bondi Sands, it is actually Australian made, which is a big reason why I bought it. But also on top of that, it was actually developed by two Aussie guys, which I thought was really kind of interesting. Like it's just a cool background story to it. But like I said, it is Australian made, which is what drew me to it in the first place because there's not very many self tanners out there that are Australian made. And as for the actual product itself, you get 200 mils in the tanning mousse and it costs around $19.95 depending on where you get it from. Now it's available at a range of chemists and also you can find it at Priceline which is where I bought mine from. So to speak for the price, it's actually quite well priced for the product that you're getting. So of course I would like it if it was cheaper, but in saying that it is appropriately priced in that it's not too expensive and you are paying for what you get, which is a good quality tanning mousse. So in comparison to a brand say like Saint Tropez, Bondo Sands is actually around $10 to $15 cheaper and I find that you get quite a similar and comparable result to that. So by buying Bondi Sands, you're saving around $10 to $15 and you're getting that higher end look of a tanning mousse. And as for Bondi Sands range, it is actually quite comparable to Saint Tropez across the whole. They also produce tanning sprays and lotions as well. So you kind of get to choose what application you like best, but personally, I prefer the mousse. So now that that's all covered, I'm now going to show you how I actually apply this product. Now, as with all other tanning products, you want to make sure that your skin is thoroughly exfoliated just so that there's no dry patches on your skin for the tan to stick to. I also recommend that before you actually start using this product that you give it a good shake because the first time that I used it, I forgot to shake it up and the tan came out very orange. So make sure you give it a good shake just so that the product is all mixed inside. And to apply the product, I'm actually using the Bondi Sands Tanning Mitt, which you don't actually have to use theirs. You can use any mitt that you like, but the one that they make, I find that it is more of a velvet texture rather than a foam so it doesn't absorb the product as badly and it goes more smoothly onto the skin. So for my arms, all I use is two simple pumps and as you can see, the color is quite bronzy and quite orange tone, which I'll admit did put me off at first, but once it goes onto the skin, it does tone down quite nicely to a deep bronze. But as I said, I use two pumps per arm and then I just evenly spread that over my arms. And you wanna work quickly with this mousse because it does dry quite quickly, so you wanna make sure there's no streaks. As for my chest, I break it up into two parts. So for the left side, I do one pump and for the right side, I do another pump but I skip my neck just because my neck does get quite dry and it does show up to be quite patchy so I only apply it to my chest and then for my neck I just apply a bronzer to blend it all in and as for my legs it's pretty much the same thing I just use two pumps per leg and I evenly spread it out but with my hands and feet I don't actually apply a whole lot of product I just use whatever's left on the mitt just to spread it out so it's a bit blended. Now while I'm waiting for that layer to dry, I normally go ahead and do my makeup. Now on the bottle, it says that you can wait 30 minutes to add another layer, but I actually like to wait another hour just so I'm ensure that everything is completely dry. Otherwise I find it gets a little bit sticky if you apply too many layers at once. And in that time, I normally sit in my room with the windows and the fan open just so it kind of speeds up the drying process. And then for the second layer, it's literally the same thing as I did before, just the same amount of pumps on each part of my body. Now, I filmed that application clip about a week ago, so it's exactly a week ago today that I applied it, and this is what my skin looks like after a week of fading and wear. And as you can see, it still has quite a lot of bronze, and if I show you up close, you'll be able to see where my work watch has been on my wrist, where it's kind of scratched off the tan, and you can see there's still quite a lot of tan on there for a week's wear. So the longevity of this product on your skin does last a very, very long time, and I find that I only really have to reapply it once a week. And as for the actual mousse, it does have a coconut scent to it. So when you first apply it, it has this really nice, sweet, strong smelling coconut smell. But I find that once after you've washed off and have the fully developed color on your skin, it does kind of fade to that fake tanny smell. But it's not to the point where people can actually smell it on you, like you can physically smell it, but it's not kind of beaming off you, if that makes sense. So the way that I apply it and everything is pretty conventional, like it's nothing really special. And I don't think you really need any kind of particular skill in using this product because it's so easy and lightweight that it just blends kind of like butter on your skin. So you don't have to worry about focusing too much on not having patches and streaks all over your skin. So it is a very, very easy product to use. Now, as for my honest opinion about it, I really do think that this is the best value tan on the market. Just because one, my favorite part, it is Australian owned. And two, the price is very appropriate to what you're getting. Because there's nothing more that I hate than when a company charges an excess amount of money for a very generic product. Whereas with Bondi Sands, 
you are paying a price for a very very good product and it is a reasonable price at that and as for the actual product of itself I do find that the tan color is very nice and as I said it does wear very nicely on the skin another positive to Bondi Sands is the variety that they've come up with so the fact that you can choose between a mousse or a spray or a lotion allows you to have complete control over the application that you want to do and also the color variation is awesome now as you can see I have the dark mousse which is the one in the black bottle you can also get a light one which would be better for lighter skin tones that way it prevents you looking from too orange if you're a lighter skin tone the only minor fault that I can pick with this company is that it's not available absolutely everywhere so like I said at the start of the video it is available at Priceline and other chemists but I do wish that they would be available at some supermarkets say like Coles and Woolworths just so it's easier for people to get to as more of an everyday shopping item rather than just kind of a special trip for this product but other than that in my opinion it is an awesome product I have been using it for about two months now and I absolutely love it and I've already repurchased it so honestly in my opinion if you are wondering about whether you should try this I say definitely give it a shot but yeah that's pretty much everything that I have to say about it so if you do have any other questions about this product in my experience with it please leave it as a comment down below and I'm happy to answer it but other than that I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I hope it was helpful and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.